Hello there, everyone. Shadobin here. Welcome back to more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and that annoying ass monkey. Well, since we got that going on, when last we spoke to old Joe Lee, he's got a group of, uh, of, uh, poachers that he wants us to deal with. They are northeast of his camp. Alright, that's what I wanted to know, so that means we're going everywhere except for northeast of his camp first. We got down through here. Malfunction. My primary motivators are into Error. Damage terminal. Playback calls as well. Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. Playback. Let me get back to Wait, I'm getting something. Oh good, it's Eli. Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. Playback. Eli, what are you- You got your money, you double-crossing snake! We had a deal! What happened to you? Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage- Playback. Playback. Scrap what I- I'll scrap you and take what I can. Shutting down. Primary systems failure. Start with the Troid's head, removing and placing your pack. And here, you start to close the remaining parts. Oh. Okay. This. Scrambled to memory of the malfunctioning droid found the Shadow Lance reveals the violent last moment's companions. They were ambushed. But identify their attackers, Eli, the merchant you met on Docking Ring. Here's he has not told the truth about these creditors. Supposedly skipped out on paying them. Oh, that. Sorry, bastard. Well, it's like somebody's going to have some explaining to do. I would take the dark side points just to get rid of them. That's how annoying those things are. Oh, and they're still talking. Well, they're not talking. You know what I mean. Go away. Ugh, I hate these things. So loud. Go ahead and pop a save in here. Now, there's another one directly in the path we're going, which is a dead end. Okay. And I run, I run real fast, cause I'm going kick the dark side's ass. Wrong way. Jolie, seriously, need to wipe these things out. It's not even like, I wouldn't even consider it evil at this point. They're a menace to society. Alright. Here's the guys. Let's go talk to them. They were very specific that they don't want me to kill them. Take the mines, though. Skill too low. Huh? Mission. <coughs> if 
if you would kindly deal with that. I said, no, she can sure. Who are you, another civil merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring? This is my turn. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits, and I'll see you dead. Are you the poachers Joe Lee told me about? The crazy old fool is still alive. I suppose he's still upset that we don't all live in little homemade shops like he chooses. I've got a job to do here, and there's nothing you or the whole crew can do about it. I might be interested in some work. I could use a next one. A couple men have gone missing. If I lose many more, I'll have to close up shop. We are hunting the little simians. The tank. They have a gland that acts as a stimulant when powdered. And I figure I've got two or three wealthy years to butcher the lot of them. You want in before I make them extinct? Don't you care that you could wipe out the whole species? Uh, no. I'll be rich by then, and we won't need to do it anymore. I don't have to worry about it. Besides, if there's no more tack, the predators that eat them will die off, and we'll have an easier time milking this planet. I have more questions about the job. Hurry up. I'm wasting too much time on you as it is. Maybe you should just pay me so I don't shut you down. I'm warning you. I didn't get this job because of my sense of humor. You smart mouth me again. We'll have a problem. Hell, I have guards everywhere on the perimeter of sonic emitters. I don't fear anything in the shadow lands, including you. Back to my questions. Hurry up, you're eating into my profits. What if I want you to leave the shadow lands? Is that old hermit Jolie trying to talk you into doing his dirty work? We've spent too much on setting up just to walk away. As long as the sonic emitters keep the Preds away and we've got bodies to guard the perimeter, we're staying right here. I mean, if I can put up with my own worthless guards complaining about this place, Jolie whining through you is nothing. A circus slaver, nothing special. All right, I'm done talking with you. You've got under my skin one too many times. I'll bury you down here. Just you try it. Oh. Hold on, Jay. Hold on. Let's let's reload. Joe Lee very specifically didn't want me to kill them. As yeah. he put it, if he wanted them dead, he could have done that. Sure. All right. Let's do this again. Who are you? Yeah, I mean, if you looking for something called a star map, I'm no nav officer. I work on the ground, and I haven't seen anything like that around here. Of course, we haven't been much deeper than this. The eastern forest gets even more dangerous. You aren't safe with blasters? It's not worth it. You're fighting the plants as well as the animals. Kashi vines are tough as metal and grow back fast. Instead, head office installed repulsive fields to keep the big predators out. Permanent placements, too. We'll be fine for years. I have other questions about the Shadowlands. If you made it this far, you know a fair bit already. What would I be able to tell you? Is there anything odd down here? Besides you? Besides any number of predators that can kill in seconds? I suppose there's old Bindo. He's got a camp here somewhere. I'd leave him alone, though. Anyone who'd lived down here is just plain crazy. There's not much else. We've got a repulsive field to the east, so not much passes through here now. Other questions about the shadow? If you made it this far, you know a fair bit already. What would I be able to tell you? Shadowland's so dangerous. How do you survive? It ain't easy. We've set up a perimeter of sonic emitters to keep the bigger preds away. It's worked so far. As long as the emitters are operational, we're pretty much safe. It makes harvesting a lot easier. Another question about Shadowlands. If you made it this far, you... Um, are you part of the slaving operation? What? No, I don't do much of that. It's too much of a headache. I'm in the business of harvesting animals. Some of the more exotic species have organs that can be removed and put to some surprising applications. Talk to me about work and maybe I'll tell you more. I'm leaving. Good. I'm not down here to direct traffic. Quest wants you to remove... Oh, just speak. 
Learned the camp is protected from hostile creatures by sonic emitters. Each emitter is assigned a guard to watch it. So yeah, get rid of the guards, get rid of the emitters. Those are basically my options here. No problem. Didn't work. Yeah. Hey, Shen. Gotcha. Let's deal with this. Simple. Gotcha. Simple. What? Oh lord. Oh, oh. Thank you. Yeah. Ugh, <laughs> get off. Go ahead and pick up all these mines. Don't mind if I do. Options are to get rid of guards or destroy these emitters. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting here. I'd rather ask about you. Why are you here? Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. And that's all there is to it. I'm just a guard for this emitter. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? I want to ask you some questions. I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter, and that's it. Talk to the commander. It's a dangerous place. Can I persuade you to leave? No more dangerous than walking out on the commander. He'd kill me for disobeying orders. I'm not here because I know stuff. What's emitters do? They generate a sonic barrier that allows us to stay in this wonderful location. It keeps the big predators away. I don't know how it works, really. I just know that if they go down, the camp would be overrun. So only the emitters are keeping you? What of it? So if someone shuts them down, you could leave? I don't like being here, that's for sure. I suppose you could take this code and shut down the emitter I'm guarding. Enough of those emitters go down and the camp will have to move out. But I never said anything. Aha! Access primary functions. Enter Zerka Guard Code. Terminate Sonic Emission. That's one down. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting here. Try to ask about you. Why are you here? Why am I here? I'm just a guard for this. So he just says the exact same stuff. Talk about the emitter you guard. What do you want to know about that? It's just one of five or so sonic emitters protecting the camp. So if someone shut them down, you can leave. I don't like being here. Enough. Ah, so yeah, we just keep doing that. Keep talking to them. What? That's a Terran Turek. Run! Run! Um, okay, I wasn't expecting that to come through. So I'm guessing it's between me and Joe Lee now. Or not. I don't see it anywhere. Let's uh pop up some speed and go chase it down real quick. That thing's out here. Probably worth a good chunk of XP. Ah, stuck on the corpse. Maybe it's not out here. Uh, 
Right, Mr. Joe Lee. I've done your dirty work. Said you would help me. I was hoping maybe it ran through to there or something. Welcome back. I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done a chance? I made certain poachers are gone. Yes, I could feel it as you walked near. And I don't sense the smell of death on you. You spared them. Interesting. There was nothing to gain by killing them. Wasn't there? I suppose not, but the environment would say otherwise if it could talk. No matter. Help me find the star map now. Yes, of course. Let's get moving. I noticed the old path some time ago. You probably wouldn't have found them on your own. There's also a Zerka repulsor field blocking the way, past the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. And on the other side, ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you were seeking. He's in the mood for visitors. I've got to have Jolie the Canders. Go ahead and save. All right, Mr. Bindo. Ah, so you're, that's right. You're a Jedi Counselor. Neutral, so you can use light and dark without any issues at all. Skills. Are not very skillful. Sure, I guess we'll put a computer. So I don't have a computer use person. Hours. Now here's the interesting part. I already got cure. I don't like this ability anyway, so I don't want it. Got valor, okay. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. It's got stun droids, it's got disabled droid. It's already got force push. So what could we take him? So we can take ear resist and we can take Actually, this uh, whole group will. Yeah. Energy resist will get the whole group. That's what we want. Out of curiosity, what do they recommend? Force shield? No. No one force shield. Uh, want wisdom. They put it in anyway. Want wisdom. And charisma. Other power, okay. Can't take any advanced powers at this point. We don't ever need speed on him. Honestly, I think we take an attack. I mean, that's a really powerful power going down that tree. That's pretty powerful as well. Of course, you could take him down the same road I'm going. I could also give him an AoE power. Since he is basically a fourth wizard. I don't know what to take with him. Main thing is we gotta get stasis. And stasis field. Force shield. Taking force shield. Slow is really powerful. Affliction, I feel, is like less useful. It has to take time for it to happen. I mean, there is that. Plague always works. So it's a great debuff against bosses.
go ahead and take it take lightning. Defeat. Okay, now here where it gets interesting. He is not a packing character. What did Consulars do? Get all this automatically. Horsepower is harder to use. It's additional defense. Okay, they went with dueling on him. Uh, we might as well finish out his dueling since they've already went down that road. Here we go. Here's where we can get the good stuff. Force Whirlwind. That's really good for my single target. Go ahead and pick that up. And we can also pick up uh, Stasis. Or sorry, Whirlwind is for groups? No. Stasis field's what I'm trying to get to. That's what it is. There we go. Power. Uh, Night Valor seems like that'd be really good. So let's go ahead and pop that. He's got the good buff for all of us. Or levels. Come on. Energy resist would be good. Um, increased shocking would be nice as well. I'm going to go with the improved energy risk since he's mainly there to uh, buff my group. Up that charisma. Another feet. Oh, uh, which I don't even know what to take with him, to be honest. Recommend. Advanced Jedi defense. That. I make some good at locking bolts, huh? Yeah, I ain't as concerned about. I'm not super concerned with that. Extra hit points might be good for him. I mean, better saving throws is awful. Implants are always good. I mean, you can never go wrong with having implants. I'm gonna give an implant. All right, powers. Uh, a good heal, I think, would be really nice. Destroy droid, I'm going to want. Go with the heal. Okay. Uh, now let's actually outfit him with some stuff. Okay, he doesn't have the constitution to make that useful or the dex to make that useful. Right? Yeah. Both even. Armor. He's already wearing the best we can do in that front. I will give him that for now. Ah, so he has to have weapon pressure to be able to use these. Let's put him on some energy shields, because I'm probably going to use him the rest of the game. One lightsaber. Yep, we don't need the monkey there. Just lightsaber is good. Budgeting fort. Yep. Ellie's got defense four. All right, so we are as quick as good as we can. There it is. What? At this point, we can basically just sell all of our uh, med packs. All right. Yeah. What do you want? Your choice. Let's head back up for a couple reasons. One, I'd like to talk to uh, I'd like to talk to both my party members. I'd also like to do some uh, customization at the Evan Hawk. 
And I really just don't want to talk to people down here with the monkeys constantly screaming at me. Plus, I'd like to turn in my quest stuff before it gets too bad. Alright, we don't need to watch the cutscene going up. Alright. Can't, can't return the Ebonhawk from here. Or, well, actually... Never mind. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got two different quests. So I got Eli. Nice. Don't even need the to my abilities, really. Lightning going. Yeah, insanity is really powerful. Let's see, what was our direction to get back here? That's to the that's the dock. No, so up and then left. Since we have to manually run there, unfortunately. Let's start by getting our uh Doing some upgrades since we did find a bunch of lightsaber crystals and stuff. And I can chat with people on the Ebon Hawk. Stuck! Let's gather my party for venturing forth. Uh, guys coming? There we come. Hey, we're getting there. Alright, first of all, let's deal with you, you slimy nerf herder. Hello again. What can I do for you, most valued customer? Valued until you can't pay. Watch your credits. You hurt me, Matson. It's the debt of your crew that keeps you here, not me. Yeah, about that. Do you all... I found this droid head. Can I ask you about it? Droid head? On cash it? Let me see that. It's nothing. I'm certain. Uh, just garbage from the forest floor. Mere rubbish. It's DAO2, the repair droid from my ship. What was this doing in the forest? Recorded an ambush. Someone yells Eli's name. Eli, you snake. You said my crew jacked the ship without paying the repair bill. Well, that is, it's not how it looks. You see, a good mechanic is hard to find and... And what? I thought I owed you. You tricked them into the Shadowlands and killed them while I fixed your freighter in orbit. Don't act rashly, Matt. He lies through. Violence won't help. Now keep your head, Matt, and it was just business. Yeah, light side points. That Thalian bog slime. Do you know I've been here 36 days slaving to pay a debt in good faith? Won't last long hiding in the Shadowlands. If it had been me, Eli would be a smoking corpse right now. Well, I could have shot out his legs and let him crawl around for a while. But I consider this far more merciful. Reputation shot. Someone honest could take over. Well, there's not much for me to do but stay here. I have no ship, so I may as well make a few credits. 
It'll probably take a while to convince Eli's suppliers that I'm the new boss, but eventually I'll buy my way off this rock. And you won't owe anyone a single credit. Good luck. That's the idea. Actually, I should toss you a few credits for helping me out. Take them. Maybe even spend them here. Safe flying to you. Hope to see you again. Nice. Quest complete. Hello again. Welcome back to Eli again. Right. Let's see. Did he do in? I really care about. Uh, not really. I mean, that's kind of nice. Plus three decks. All right. Good there. With the ship. Oh, it's good to be home. Good, it's good, it's good indeed. All right, first and foremost, let's get to crafting. Before I get too involved. I am using short lightsaber. I didn't even realize that. Oh, I accidentally put in my short lightsaber. I've been doing less damage this whole time. Yeah, I'm using a blue and a yellow lightsaber. My blue has a Rubat and a Bonder. Rubat gave me a plus one hit in damage. Crystal gives me plus three to hit. And the next door gives me... Interesting, so plus one to hit and increasing my crit rank. That seems better. Bondor's chance to stun, or I could put the bat in, the rubat in. Okay, my yellow lightsaber. Got a rubat. Sigil gave me extra damage and a plus one to hit. I'm okay with those. Um, I am thinking, though, let's make them both blue. Only so it's easier for me to know what lightsabers I actually have equipped. Alright. So someone's wielding these two. Oh, I didn't realize there was a violet crystal. Go ahead and pull that out. Yeah. Go ahead and give myself a violet crystal. Heck yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I'm wielding. I am wielding purple lightsabers. That's awesome. All right, so. Right, this would be Bonnie and then Jolie. I'll give him a red lightsaber. And we'll give him those. As far as ranged weapons go. Yeah, I mean, we're get out as best we can. Our melee is also kitted out as best it can for now. All right. Kalanord's battle armor. Someone's wearing this stuff. All right, we do. So if we equip this, it gives in our plus three defense and immune crits. That's really good. And immune to mind. Wow. Okay, then we got the Achani fiber armor. Now we're talking. All right, Callow. So you don't need anything that makes you... Honestly, you don't need will saves because you're immune to mind affecting. Something better I can get. Uh, 
Uh, I can give damages to Sonic. That seems better. Don't need this anymore. So you don't really need implant at the moment. Yeah, I think you are good. At least until we can get access to something better to give you. Uh, you've got plus one dex, huh? Okay. Have immune mind? You do not. Uh, and you're the person with fiber armor. I'm going to take that off you. Yeah, you can have Davix war suit. Fiber armor is kind of waste on you, Karth. No offense. You in just a regular Basla. She ain't rocking anything crazy. Oh, Bindo here. We've already messed with him. There's not much I can do to make him better at the moment. Oh right, yeah, she's already got that thing on, which is good. She's already got the really nice belt. She can't use that anyway. Put her in the fiber armor because that's better for her. Nice. Okay, so she's outfitted really as best she can be. I might as well give my people basic supplies, if nothing else. I uh, sever the drawer. I'm never going to use them, so he doesn't need to have anything. Oh, he doesn't give me a quiz. Okay, well, I mean, I guess if he has to have stuff equipped, then. Karth. Because I had these better pistols. That's a plus two damage and a plus two to hit. And it's balanced. And uh, oh, it's plus two if used in the offhand. Okay. That would put me at Plus 14, plus 16. If I put it in main hand. Plus 16, plus... Okay, that's not how that's supposed to work, but I will take it. There we go. So, Mikarth is still... Still dangerous to the enemy. This card's current. X of 18th moment. Alright, so if I take this off... Why do I have two sets of Regix? Okay, there's something funky going on. Okay. Yeah, managed to somehow duplicate gloves, it looks like. That's a problem. Uh let's do a new save. Out or Jacks will Got 
I'm a little concerned about this in between on. Got Bregic's gloves. And she has Bregic's gloves. Alright, whatever. Hey, Ganders. Yeah, what do you want? Tell me more about the Mandalorian War. The war we had with the Republic was supposed to be the most glorious battle in our history. But it was a very costly one. I guess we didn't think of how much we could lose in it. How much did you lose? There weren't many of us after that last battle. Mandalore himself was killed at the hands of the Jedi Revan. The best of us could not defeat him. After that last battle, those of us that survived were stripped of our weapons, our armor, and our basilisks. Revan's forces destroyed them while we were forced to watch. Those who hadn't fled earlier were left with nothing to call their own. No weapons, no armor, only the honor of having fought in the battle we just lost. For many, this was not enough. While the rest of us were sent into exile on the Outer Rim, they tried to relive the old days, raiding worlds. They're nothing more than bandits now. And you eventually came to Terrace. Yeah, I came to Terrace. And forcing for Davik was not stimulating. The gangs on Terrace and Davik's rivals were trash. They give no thrill in battle, no honor or glory in defeating them. It was like stepping on bugs. I sought worthy challenges, but the best that Terrace could offer were nothing to me. But I think now, with you, I may finally find opponents worth fighting. For a worthy companion. Maybe later I'll tell you more about what it was like to work for Davik. For now, though, we should get on with our lives. Is there something else you want to know? Hey, don't... A real warrior. Is there anything... Your... Ch yeah, what do you... Alright, that's... That's all we got on Candrus for now. Let's check our bales. And I do know from doing some reading, by the way, that I need to not talk to Juhani about her quest line because it can mess, it can bug out something later in the game. Alright, so you got nothing to offer there, Juhani, right there, by the way. The Lee Hangout. Are you Karth anything new? Yes, what's up? You Nothing from Karth, Basla? How can I help? I want to talk. Hmm? Sorry. I'm just thinking about my mother. It's strange to hear news after all this time. It's quite distracting. Should we have the opportunity? I would like it's not that I look f Okay, so you got nothing new. Alright, Jolie, where do you go on the ship? Yes, over here with mission. I mean that's the only place we have left. We're not over here with mission. Did I just miss you? Ah, this little room. There he is. Got something on your mind, do you? Make a healing kit for me. I suppose I could whip up something, uh, you know, a few herbs and such. You do know that the best alternative is not to get hurt, right? Well, not to say that you go leaping into the path of blaster fire or anything, but I know how you young people get. Here, take it. Got something. How many? Ask me later. Got something on you. Tell me about this place. Oh, I know plenty about Kashik. You think someone doesn't live here for 20 years and pick up a thing or two? Chances are, by the time I finish telling you about it all, you would have found out for yourself. So there's no reason for me to start blathering on. It should be enough for me to tell you that there's kilometer after kilometer of trees on this planet. The deeper you go, the more dangerous it gets. If you're smart, you stay on top with the Wookiees. You go deep, however, and you may find some things you weren't expecting. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Uh, got some... Alright, so he won't talk to me about himself yet, which is fortunate since that's the main reason I came here, but Alright. So 
let's head back to the Wookiee Village, talk to them, turn in. Well, I assume I'm going to turn in. I might just be making progress on a couple quests I have. Uh-oh. Ah, so we meet again, Candrus. It has been quite a long time. Joggy? No, Candrus. He... He was a warrior under my command up to the Battle of Alfir. But I thought... You thought I was dead, didn't you? You thought all of us that you had set on that attack had perished. You sent us to die in a foolish attack, while you directed your forces elsewhere. You broke from the battle plan and let us die for it, so that you could have the honor of being the first to kill the enemy commander. Is this true, Candrus? I... I did what was prudent at the time. If I had not done it, the battle would have... The battle would have been won anyway. I am tired of your excuses, Candorous. I have spent years tracking you down since the clans were banished, and I will not rest until I've had my vengeance. What are you going to do? I challenge you, Candorous. I challenge you to fight the fight you fled that day above Althir in the doomed seas of Tatooine. I will be waiting for you. I have spread the news of the challenge since I learned you had landed on this world. All the surviving Mandalorian clans know of what I do here, and that we shall meet on Tatooine to settle this debt of vengeance once and for all. If you fail to meet me there, you shall be stripped of all honor and forever cast out of our society. It will be you and me alone in the doomed seas of Tatooine. A final battle that can only end in death. I shall be waiting for you there, Kendris. Oh! I've been given a challenge I can't ignore. We've got to go to the Dune Seas of Tatooine so I can find Jaggi and kill him for his insult to me. What happened out there? Why is Jaggi so mad at you? This is between me and Jaggi. You don't have to get involved. If you're lucky, he might spill something before I spread him in a paste over the dunes. I've been given a... This is... Be Okay. Got something. Well, I've been wondering when I was going to get that uh, quest for Candrus. We know. All right, to the Wookiees. Running, 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 running. Woods, running on the walkways because the made of wood. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that one, folks. No enemies yet. They did a good job of wiping them out. Talk to me. Yeah, he's just saying the back of stuff. Should I talk to you about information about his disappearance? Alright. So I need to talk to those two. I spoke with. Let me talk to Chandar, so clearly that's not where we go for this quest. Hey, Warwell. Back again. Have you seen? No, you wouldn't tell me. You wouldn't care. Leave the boy alone, please. Cattle Jax, I'm here with Chandar's permission. I don't know about that. I hear lots of things. I'm not sure what to think anymore. You know who's bolt casing this is? 
What? I'm sure it looks like Jarex. I think so anyway. I'm not sure. This bolt casing was found on Roar War's body. On Roar War's body? Then it's dead. But he can't be. Don't listen to him, Warwill. Outsiders only lie when their mouths are open. You know that. Roar War was dealing with slavers. Know anything about this? No, he doesn't. Don't say another thing to him. You want to lie? Lie to me, outsider. Oh, he big mad. Leave, leave the boy alone. Please, you will want to talk to me. I want to go with this warble again. Not sure that I should have said anything to you in the first place. Okay, so I gotta talk to Sarga. What do you have to say about it? Speak with me directly, away from the boy, please. Very well. I will speak with you, Jarek. Goodbye, Warwill. Made a terrible claim against me, outsider. Do what you must, fit. Leave me alone. Don't you want a chance to defend yourself? What I want is for you to leave. If you think you are worthy to take me for my peers, I won't stop you. Do what you must. The holder of the laws will decide my fate in proper Wookiee tradition. I know that you had reason to kill Roar War. It's not for you to decide. I couldn't possibly understand how this affects my people or me. Do what you must. The holder of the law. Okay. So I gotta go talk to the holder of the laws. Save. <laughs> Greetings again, outsider. Please, if you have business here, make it brief. Who you know, owns this bolt casing? Let's see if the family insignia is there. Yes, there it is. This belongs to Jarek. Eric, how did you get it? Tell me something. What's the penalty for murder? Now, it depends on the circumstances. We rarely have such crimes here. The honor does not allow it. When we have had a murder, the punishment was actually death. There's rarely any justification that would dictate otherwise. I found Jarek's bolt casing on Roar War's corpse. Oh my, that is very distressing. It definitely seems to suggest that suggest that Jarek helped in Roar War's death. I I can't ignore this. Wait here, outsider. I must address this. I will have Jarek brought here. And I hope he can explain this. I really do. Eric, you know why you've been summoned here. This holder of the laws ask you to explain. I won't answer. I can't. War is Nora. Must War will be here? War will has a bond with Roar War. He is the closest to family that can be found. He's entitled to be here. Derek, please speak. If you're guilty, it means death. This outsider will be given your possessions. Do you want that? Jarek, won't you say anything in your own defense? I killed Roar Roar. I will accept whatever, whatever punishment is given. It's better if only my honor is tainted. You did do it? Why? Roar Roar was good and honorable. Why did you kill him? You only need to know that I did it. The reason's unimportant. Or will, I'm sorry. Is there no alternative to death as punishment? circumstances that led to the attack, perhaps we could consider another punishment. It all depends on what was behind it. I urge you caution. This may seem like the right path to follow, but you do not know these people as I do. This is a failure of honor. It is very serious. Are there any mitigating factors we need to be aware of? Wait, come back to the part where I get paid if he's guilty. That's the law. You discovered the crime, and therefore were also affected by it. You were also a victim. It's painful to know that another Wookiee could do wrong. So the accuser is repaid, as is the victim's family. This will be the first time an outsider has received such reparation. I hope it is the last. Jarek, won't you say anything in your own defense? Jarek, I won't let you do this. Roar War was dealing with slavers. What? What are you talking about? Liar! 
Please, don't tell them anything. Or was admired. They need to believe in him. I'm old. I'm not important. Let War Will and the others have their hero. Ah. This is a hard choice. I lie for the greater good or to expose the hero, let an innocent die. Ah, uh, man. That is what you want. I do. I will take his shame with me. The roar in their memory is a far better one than the roar roar I kill. Let Jarek die. He murdered Roar War. It's fact. So he shall, Jarek. Take the cross and cast in the shadow. For hunt ends. There was pain no matter how this ended. Perhaps this is for the best. Though we abandon you, I back and lead to your shame. Hello, Ginata. I wish you had not seen us at our worst. Murder with no reason. Unsettling. Is there a reward for my service? Yes, yes there is. For receive the credit equivalent of one third of Jarek's possessions. Or we'll get the rest. It's the closest to family that Roar War had left. Others were lost to slavers. Here, take it. Thank you for your help. Now please, just go. Is there anything going on? A few details to work out following Jarek's death, but nothing that need concern you. Oh, I got dark side points too? Oh, uh, probably for asking about him, I gotta get paid. Am I maxed on light I am maxed on light side. Alright, let's level up. Oh, let's just keep. S s well, I need one more point in charisma if I remember correctly. Or in persuade. And everything else can get saved up, put in repairs. Beats. I've already got two weapons maxed out. I've got implants maxed out. Um. Really, at this point, it's basically I could go down the line for weapon spec. Be not bad. And I can go down the line for flurry. Get that extra attack. That's really my only two options. Which I think I'm going to go with this. Powers. I mean, I basically have all the powers I want, to be honest. I mean, yeah, I don't really need that. My force resist could be all right. Energy resist is good, but I don't need it. I don't really want that. Got here, drain life. I mean, it's not awful. Or suppression. Okay, so that lets me turn off enemy buffs. Reach lets me really turn off enemy. I can pick up Dark Side just so I have. So I don't know. Recommend a curiosity. They recommend stun. I've already got something better than that. 
I could take your just to be helpful. It's immune. So these two combined, it's going to make it very likely that I don't get affected by powers. Uh, you know what? Let me think a second. Okay, I haven't looked at this in a minute. One second. We're going to look at the uh, guide I always fault I was using for my character. Recommend for powers. They recommend insanity, which I have. Energy resistance. Master speed, which we're working on. Force immunity. Master Valor. So they do recommend you take both of these. And eventually drain life. Alright, well I mean I guess if they recommend we take them anyway. Let's just do that. What's this do? Is that because I cast a buff? That, yeah, it's because I cast a buff on myself. Alright. Well, folks, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I greatly appreciate it. It means the world to me, and I love you for it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Every minute you spend watching me is a minute you could be doing something else, even if you just have this playing in the background. I greatly appreciate the support, and thank you so much. I love you for it. If you like the game, the content, the channel, please consider giving me a like, follow, comment, subscribe, or ring the notification bell. Share my channel with your friends, family, social media, all that good stuff. It all really helps out. It really helps me, helps the channel. And again, I just appreciate it so much. Wherever you're at, I hope you have a wonderful morning, day, afternoon, evening, night. May the force be with you, and I'll see you next time.